say whatever you want and uh, market yourself. However, I learned this from the great James Gregory, uh, marketing himself at his first open mic. He ever went up on stage. This is the legend that he told the intro. Uh, he told them that his intro is, "I'm America's the funniest man in America," and they're like, "You can't say that." And he's like, "Yes, I can. I'm James Gregory. I'm the funniest man in America." I took that lesson. I ran with it, and I am America's favorite comedian of all time, Chad Ryden. Thank you very and much. And you guys are both equally successful. That's, what that's, a, that's equal foot. Yeah, nobody argues with his logic. Nobody argues with me yeah. because clearly I've done it. Like you can't. We're really proud of you. That, that's the thing about comedy is you have to be undeniable, and that's I've achieved that's that. You. You're People, undeniable. Nobody, nobody can say uh, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Was it tonight your whole set ended with? I don't know why I've talked about so many fat people. I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, that's. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I did not mean to riff entirely about fat people for ten minutes, but guess what happened? I had fat neighbors upstairs make a lot of noise, and that was what was on my heart. Well, you've been losing weight, and so I feel like you're trying to get like people angry again. It, it, get people angry at me? Yeah. That's probably true. Because you're like slimming down. I well, thank you for saying that. You're welcome. Uh, thank you for noticing. Well, I'm around you too much, and you tell me all the time you've lost weight. I've lost weight, and everybody should get on the let's not be fat pieces of shit train. Was that directed at me? What? No. Why would that? It was directed at me. <laughs> oh, that's right. You guys, uh, hold on just a second. Let's let's bring up Mr. Look who it is, everybody. It's Jesse Perry. Jesse, uh, let me make sure I can hear you. What's up, buddy? Uh, nothing much. Uh... I was just sitting here, uh, being insulted, and uh, now my feelings hurt. Your feelings are hurt? No, we were talking about... He was about calling me fat. No, no, no. I wasn't calling anybody I know and love fat. It's, uh... It's no, never... he was calling me fat. No. <laughs> uh, hey, I other... don't love Chad, so that was directed at me. Oh, God, this has already gone off the rails. I'm one mad fatty. Well, we're glad to have you here on the show, Jesse Perry. This it's is amazing. It's to be here uh, in my position as local nobody to be able to uh, horn in on your comedy action, sir. It's our comedy action. This is all... Uh, I'm not taking the blame for all of this. We're, we're going down as a team. Okay. I'll, I'll say it's 33% my fault. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm very glad and excited to be part of uh, this moronic, stupid thing that we'll hopefully be doing weekly? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, it's, yeah. And, and there's nobody here to stop us. That's the thing. Is we can yeah. do this forever. And we're going to act really stupid. We have some uh, equally stupid friends. So uh, many dumb friends. We yes. have a lot. I know a lot of dumb friends. You have good friends. Who are some oh, of the dummies so that we're going to see tonight on this show? Oh. Oh, we've got Dirk Schmelzer. Desk cop Dirk Schmelzer. That's uh, going to be yes. amazing. Yeah. The skit that defined my destiny. <laughs> we've got sketches by Seth Pomeroy. Yeah. Um, I think I think we've got a clip from Chad Ryden. We've got we we uh, now this is amazing. Clip. This is crazy that we even got this. This it's isn't exclusive. Uh, I don't know how we nailed the rights to be able to broadcast this, but God yeah. yeah. The the Ch the team at Chad Ryden Industries really pulled through to get us this clip. So yeah, the I mean I can't imagine yeah. the amount of red tape. 
They pulled you through. and your lawyers had to go through to secure this. A lot of paperwork. Inside. A lot of paperwork. Like the two rarest things, that Jerry Lewis Nazi comedy uh -huh. and, and Chad Ryden the uh, stand-up clips. It's so rare, and that's why it's it's so it great. It has to be shared. Yeah. So, um, um, I'm excited. Yeah, we've got somebody by is. Seth Pomeroy. Seth Pomeroy's great. Very uh, funny. Do we have Joe Kelly on this one? Uh, we might. We might be able to get Joe Kelly. He a uh, very late submission from Joe, but we may be able to dial it up. Okay, let's hope so. Oh, fingers crossed, everybody. Should we play the Dirk Schmelzer clip? Let's play Dirk Schmelzer. Uh, Jesse, this is something. Talk a little bit about Jesse. Set this up, Jesse. Okay, uh, I uh, started working with the uh, sheriff's office in 2005, but about four years before that. I created a sketch that would literally sum up the job I have now, and uh, so check out how I was several thousand hairs on my head. All right, here's Dirk Schmelzer, desk cop. This fall, get ready for a different kind of police drama. Time to take out the trash. Thanks, Jose. Dirk Schmelzer, Des Cop. Jesse McClary stars as Dirk Schmelzer, a hard-boiled pencil pusher willing to break all the rules. Chad McBride muscle stars as Sergeant Gurr, Schmelzer's boss who's trying to keep him in line. Dirk, did you authorize this order for 3,000 staples? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. This department doesn't run efficiently on maybes. You're a loose cannon. This keeps up and you're going to be patrolling the parking lot of Taco Bell on Friday nights. Are you talking, Chief? Because I'm no longer listening. Bah. Damn you, Schmelzer! You'll have a series of strokes as Dirk Schmelzer desk cop delivers pulse-pounding action that bludgeons you in the nards. My God, Dirk, the people are rioting in the street. we got to get out there and get moving! Get ready to have intensity served up in triplicate. Hey, does anybody here know how to spell perpetrator? Dirk Schmelzer, Des Cobb. Thank oh, you. Oh, boy. Thank what you. A, Beautiful. What a Beautiful. magical Beautiful. moment. I was looking at that on YouTube uh, a couple days ago, and there's one comment underneath, and I think it's something like, that was funny, and by funny I mean... All right. <laughs> well, thank you, random internet user. Yes. Yeah. So that feels pretty good. That's uh, pretty solid feedback. Yeah, and also, uh, you know who helped us on that uh, video was Mr. Matt Sterling. Did he? Did, was he filming that? Yeah, he read the script and decided to stay behind the camera. <laughs> and uh, he's gone on to uh, many awards and uh, doing great things, editing and uh, feature film work. And we pretty much gave him his start. Well, I, he I, walked up on the on the set and was like, "What's that?" And I was like, "Matt, this is called a camera." Yeah. <laughs> someday this will make you rich. So that's another person who owes me. Well, God bless him. Maybe uh, we could get Matt on the show someday, and uh, that'd be wonderful. Oh boy. That'd be yeah. Wonderful. Well, just. Do you have any upcoming shows? I have uh, a few. There's if you're uh, rich and famous. Uh, well. I don't know uh, what all I can talk about. I've, I've, got, time. I've got one Wednesday here in town at High Five in Nashville. Uh, that's a Ron Ron show. I think that's going to be great. Uh, you now, can a, who is Ron Ron? What's a Ron Ron, a Ron, Ron, Ron show? Comedian, comedian Ron Ron Mosley, a fantastic Ron Nashville Ron. guy, very funny, and he runs the show at High Five on Wednesday. I'll be there. That'll be great. Uh, honestly, we can. Everybody can. Uh, Nobody wants when it. I cut to that thought, uh, I also turn off the audio on the camera. But uh, you can see all my stupid webs. <laughs> you can see all my stupid shows coming up on my website, nationalstandup.com or chatwriting.com. Uh, oh yeah, go to fuckthehomeless.com. That's where all my shows are listed. Um, that's, it does redirect. 
It, it, yeah. So, that's, so NashvilleStandup.com, it's not just like your shows. No, well, it's it's a facade. So I list other shows, but it's really only there to promote this my stuff. This is your pyramid scheme to love yeah. your shows. Everybody. Did you, did you know that the first three years that Chad and I dated, I had never been to NashvilleStandup.com? And talked about it often. Uh, I never, I would like adamantly refuse to go on the website because he was so passionate about it. Well, it's well, only... It's, it seems hurtful to me. It was. It was okay. very... Good. Yeah. Nobody oh, it was, I knew what I was doing. It was uh, a little rude. He would even, he even like added it in my favorites in my like toolbar on my phone. It was on your start screen or whatever? It was on my start screen. And you I refused to click. I would not. Until he told me my name was on it, and then I was like, I'll check it out. I'll look at that later. <laughs> Laters. Uh, so, was that part of your courtship? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The, the name on the website. You know, Chad actually Very invited excited. me. On our first date, Chad actually invited me to see him perform stand-up. That so. wasn't supposed to be a date. <laughs> like, I, I actually asked her out in... And uh, to a real thing, and that that thing <laughs> fell through. Because you forgot you had a, a show. Because I because I had a show on that night, and so I was like, "Well, you can come Aww. to the stupid show if you want, and we can get sushi." And she did. Be honest, it was a bringer, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put butts on the seats. Any funny story, babe? There's actually there, there's people who did that at the Broken Record comedy show last. Uh, April when we broke the Guinness World Record, there were people, there were comics who were bringing, Tinder. yeah, bringing girls in, like get, using Tinder to bring in girls as dates wow. to the, sh yeah, it was not the their highest or the best moment for them. Hey, but it worked though. It, I guess I don't know. It's sort of. There was one guy who would do it, and then like he would, every girl he brought, like he'd be like, he'd bring these girls, and they were like clearly obsessed with him, and then he'd do them wrong or something, and he'd be like, oh, you know that girl I brought last week, like. She really loved your comedy. I'm like, well, I'm glad you ruined comedy for her yeah. by, like, <laughs> fucking her over. She'll so, never be back again, so would, there's a potential I feel they'll come back. Yeah. Just a know. group of people who are mad at this one person, but they want to see me. Yeah, they can't yeah. go to any local shows because they're afraid their nemesis will be there. You're so funny, they can look past their rage that, and your jokes. I'm not sure anyone feels that way. Uh. I'd say my comedy has like a four percent retention rate. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's doing pretty good. Like, I'm good. Yeah, I think that's doing pretty good. Like Tim Wilson, I heard Tim Wilson once say uh, there was this guy in the audience that was being disruptive, and he was like, "Listen, sir, I don't care if you like me or not. I just need like one tenth of one percent of people who see me to like me and then buy my album, and I'll be a millionaire." And guess what? They have, and I am. And I just thought, <laughs> oh. That's it right there. That's all you need. Well, you can still say that. Yeah, you yeah, can say it. I'm, I'm America's favorite comedian of all time, Jess. You don't have to tell me. I know. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's scientifically proven. Well, right. There's been well, there was a poll up on this website called America Who's Your Favorite Comedian dot com. Yeah. And the poll, you know, there was Jack Benny and Groucho Marx and Johnny Carson and, and, and all these people and Chad Ryden, of course. Uh, yeah. There, there was a write-in capacity. And the Chad Ryden votes, whoo, through the roof. And that since then, that website has changed its name to chat, uh, chat um, <laughs> It Well, we, we kind of refined its focus eventually. When, what, when you, you, just, centric, you, do some, <laughs> you do some polling and you see where people want, and they clearly Listen, want it. You felt like this domain should just go to you. Chad Ryden, so. Right. Boom. It's like, our poll's no good anymore. You want it. Yeah. You're the best. Listen. Here, take it. Yeah. And so, yeah, my, my fan club runs that that website for me. Thank God. Thank God those kids Thank are doing God, it. Thank yeah. yes. Well, how many open mics are there in town now? Like uh, 30, 40? At least five, I think. Uh, Four yeah. or five? There's two on Monday, two on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, uh, and then there's two different ones on Thursdays. So, so like seven. Seven-ish? That's yeah, wow. some are like bi or some are like uh, bi monthly though. But there's plenty of open mics, and that means there's lots of open micers. Oh yes. And you uh, get to see uh, a wide variety, and I I love nothing more than seeing somebody go up for the first time with a good attitude and well planned jokes and really well thought out stuff. And 
It's anyway, very rare. Oh, it's so great. I'll, you buy them a beer afterwards, say, keep coming out, please come back. But then again, we get the the crap uh. as well. <laughs> yes. there's, there's the guys that are not great. Yes. And have no intention of ever becoming great. You can usually tell by their attitude. Yeah. I think there's definitely some etiquette that uh, people could uh, afford Benefit. to learn at open mics. Yeah. Don't you? No, yeah, absolutely. Yes. And I wish we, there was some sort of guide... Like, you could just hand people when they walk in, like, here. If we just had some sort of medium that we could offer examples. Examples? If only. Of bad open mic etiquette. Oh. Uh, this is my pet peeve, is when you call somebody's name and they take, like, 17 million minutes to get up to the stage. They yes. saunter. They can, I, can I do that? Can I be that guy? If Please, you want, if you, I would if love you for you think you can demonstrate guy. it. Okay, if you right, can just introduce me, I will uh, do the rest. All right, hold on. Let me let me get this ready. Let me get the character and, and the yeah, prepare yourself. Where's your motivation? Really crappy attitude right now. Okay, hold on. Um, shit. Get get ready, guess. Mary, do something in the meantime. Maybe. maybe uh, Dates. How are your squirrels doing, Mary? Give us a squirrel oh, update. Oh, a squirrel update. They're great. I've got one squirrel that is in my shirt. In your shirt and right he's now? He's taking a nap. Yes, he's taking a nap. And then um, one of the other squirrels was in my pants, but she didn't want to be in my pants anymore. And so she went back into the cage, and now she was Ooh. chewing on a nut, but she's Ooh. in her office right now. I don't know what she's doing. Oh. The well, squirrel has an office. What kind uh, of nuts do the squirrels prefer? They like hazelnuts, they like um, Brazil nuts. <laughs> Chad shook his head because he did not expect me to remember that. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm very glad I did that. Okay. Uh, okay. Almonds. All right, I, I, like all right, I think I'm ready here. here. Uh, uh, so, so what we're, we're, we're going to do is, uh, we're, we're going to introduce, introduce Jesse. Jesse. And I'll be a comedian who takes way too long to get to the stage because my attitude is Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen. Uh, coming, coming up next, up next I've never uh, seen, seen this guy before, before, but I'll bet he's fantastic. fantastic. Give, Give it up, up for, for Jesse, Jesse Perry. Perry. How's everybody doing? Oh, oh great. great. Nice. Nice. Nice crowd. Nice. Nice nice <laughs> Jesse Perry, everybody. Thank you. That was great. That was that, so wonderful. That, 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 that really all that was just the power of my acting. <laughs> that, do you remember that time that there was this guy who walked up to the stage so slow, just crazy slow, and then I spent my whole set yelling at him and then I found out later that it was his first time on stage. I wouldn't feel bad at all. I uh, don't feel bad about it. He's got to learn. What, what better, better time to learn than the first time, time you go up that what is not acceptable. Yeah, because yeah. the act number is two things. Either he learned or he was too scared and didn't perform again. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it was the latter. Either, Either outcome way, is acceptable. America won. Uh, oh, you're, you're here. Get this out of the way here. Gosh, should I undo the mic here? No, that's fine. How are you guys? Doing great. Jesse, uh, I had no idea you were just in the other room. Yeah, we didn't even know you were fine. Yeah, I've, I've uh, been, been here for a few hours. hours. Somebody's stealthy. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do we have going, going on here? here? I, I, know I know that we have. have we do we have, have a possible interesting interview coming up with Mr. Patrick Kramer, who I hope is watching. Uh, if he's not. 
then he's, he's, a, he's a jerk. jerk. What a slap in the face to us. Yeah. yeah. If he is not watching. Okay. Oh, no. It, it, this, the floor is very slippery, and I'm wearing socks, but I also have pants that are about six inches too long. Yes. yes. So I can slide about the floor. I call it... Um, uh, dressing, dressing like, like a child. child. <laughs> yeah. No, I, uh, there's, there's a thing I do called uh, floor, baby. floor skating. And I just walk through the house like this. You're, you're, you're the, the, the herky jerky, jerky dancer. dancer. What was the one picture you show? Oh, uh, choo choo the herky jerky dancer. dancer. That, that was. That's what I do, and I just uh, slide through the house. It's amazing. What is the next clip we have to come up? That's a good question. Jay, what's up on the see I'd like to see, see a, a good, good quality, quality uh, comedic, comedic clip. clip. Oh, well, we've only got a Chad Ryden one. Oh, oh shit, we've only got a Chad Ryden clip. Let's, let's see, see some Chad Ryden stand, stand, stand up. up. Well, let's see. Let's, let's try this out. <laughs> nice lady. We're all sick of shit. Uh, I went home for Christmas, Thanksgiving. We're, we had a nice meal. And we're all sitting down in the living room trying to enjoy each other's company. And my grandma just out of nowhere is like, you know, I just don't like the way everybody's on their phones all the time. Bam, bam, bam. Nobody interacts and looks each other in the eye and has a conversation anymore. And we're all like, fuck you, Grandma. <laughs> and then, I swear to God, within the next five minutes, she passed out and was snoring in her chair. I'm like, yeah, way to interact with this fuckface. <laughs> Great conversation we're having with you, hypocrite. I've had a job my whole life. <laughs> my life! She's never worked a day. My grandpa died a few months before I was born. She's been collecting Social Security and renting out the farm ever since. She hasn't lived on a figure to do shit. Do you know how many times she's yelled at me to get a job? <laughs> oh! Runs all over me. It's like, you go, you go get a job! Suck in the government's tits! Is that where you get your money? Is the government? Go fuck yourself, Granny. Get over yourself. Greatest generation, my ass. Collecting money from the gut. Tell me to get a job. Fucking lazy piece of shit. Yeah, why don't you croquet something? Go make us all some fucking Afghans nobody wants. Get that shit out of here. Go be productive. Start a meth lab, grow some weed, do something. <laughs> Start turning a profit, Granny. We got a farm. You're not doing shit with it. <laughs> She's a wonderful lady. <laughs> She's the sweetest old woman I've ever met. And I just shit all over her. <laughs> oh, boy, that... That chatter I need, guys. guys. Oh, yeah! What a special, special treat, treat that, that was. was. Love it! He wants his grandmother dead. Uh, well, not necessarily. At first, I wanted to sign over the farm. farm. But, uh... She does that thing, too, where she, like... Remember she has that weird way of saying Sacagawea, or I say it weird, and then she, like, sets you up. Sacagawea? And it's Chicago, what, like... She'll She's... be like, how do you say it? And then she'll like show you a coin, like she's gonna give you. A oh, say this name. And then she's like, "Ha, huh, no, you got it wrong." And then you feel stupid. I don't because she's old. <laughs> <laughs> my, my grandma's full of tricks, and uh, that's she one of them. She, uh, well, yeah. Don't mind me, guys. That's Jesse Perry, you guys. Look at him. Uh, my grandma's great. She's a wonderful lady, like I say. But yeah, sometimes she, she's old. She's just an old lady. I just. I hope nobody ever shows her that clip. Uh, I, <laughs> I like when she stands up and then just parts. My, my grandma? Yeah, or is that your mom? My mom does that more than anybody. My mom, uh, God bless her, my mom's getting older and she will stand up and, I, well I mean I stand up and fart too, but my mom will just be walking through the house and uh, so crop dust you and she'll say, oh, oh, I'm sorry. But she's also losing her hearing, so sometimes she doesn't hear <laughs> her own thing going on. I don't know. It's it's a I mess. She's horribly embarrassed. She'll kill me if she ever sees this, too. I don't like when somebody does, like, a silent fart. And then, see, once you open the fart plug games, here Oh, I it's am. fart time here. <laughs> I don't like when somebody... This is what happened the other night. 
somebody farted really bad and I was like a silent one and I was like, ooh, like we were all standing around in a group. This is after your show, after Flying my Chamber. Show. Yeah. And I was like, uh, and this guy was like, oh, sorry, I ate hearties. And I was like, <laughs> like that that's an excuse. Mean you can be rude. Yeah, <laughs> you made a poor dietary choice. <laughs> you ate garbage. And then you're coming and disposing of that. You're yeah. blasting that all over the place. Go to the bathroom. Yeah, go <laughs> take care of it. Yeah, and don't take care of it here. <laughs> yeah, we just we had do. a nice show in this wonderful <laughs> venue. Don't worry you go back that. to Hardy's and you go to the bathroom you there. Your bathroom. Yeah, they expect that. That's why they have those bathrooms. So you can just, yeah, awful. Yeah. Awful. That happened to us in Memphis, too. Well, it did. At this one, I was coming up the stairs. I was outside, and I came up the stairs, and you warned me, <laughs> but it was too late. I was already, like, there was a group of people in the way, and I wanted to walk around them. I was like, no! And, like, don't, don't walk through the... Somebody just farted. And I was, it was too late. It was already engulfed. Yeah. And so I was, ah, ah, no! Just couldn't get it off me. It was in my face. I used to work at a shoe store, and this guy, like, pooped really bad in some bathroom, but then he just propped the door open after he was done. Everybody's going to want to sample that. <laughs> I had my lunch sitting out, and I just threw my lunch away, because I was like, it's already got so much poop on it. Yeah, that's awful. Um, oh. Man, so... I'm trying to get Patrick to call, by the way. He, Patrick is dialing up... Uh, Oh, I've got him right there. There he is! Uh, just a second. We're going to keep him on hold. Do you want to play this clip? We can do yeah. this first. Okay, let's do Patrick. You want to go to okay. Patrick? Yeah, let's do Cat Patrick. Hold on just a second, Pat. If he's already here. He is. Why, why waste such why a glorious opportunity? Time? There he is. Uh, blue. Mr. Kramer. I don't know if... Uh, here, you can wear these and probably hear him through that, I hope. Let's see. And I think... We could share this if we want. This is so ghetto, but I don't know how else to do it and not have feedback. Patrick, can you hear us? Can you hear him? Patrick, can you hear us? He can't hear he us at all. Shit. He cannot hear us at all. You know what? Now, now can you hear us, Patrick? No, because he's on Skype. God damn it. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> well, how is he going to respond to us? He can't, possibly. Uh, shit bird. I all. He's... He just texted me. I got nothing. Uh, I like the it. sound of him typing. Can you hear? He can't hear us at all. Uh, this is no good. We can hear him. He just wants to brag that he knows something. We can hear him? Can you hear him through that? I can't hear him. I can Not hear him. Not through the headphones? <laughs> oh, this is the worst. All right, well, everybody wave at Patrick. Hi, oh, Patrick. <laughs> now, he heard that. He did not. He just saw us waving. Oh, he just saw us <laughs> waving. How is this not working? Uh, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'll tell you one thing while we're talking about this. Technology is a horrible bitch goddess. It is the worst. Uh, which is dead set on ruining our society. And you know what? I'm gonna sorry, switch this. I'm oh, that's what it was. The USB microphone. I get it. I understand uh, what I have to do now. Hang on! I wish I had another one of these. So this wasn't... Well, we need to remember to get another one of those. Yeah. Oh, God bless it. All right. I guarantee you, you can hear us now, and it's going to be better. Um, but we can't hear him. Well, Wait. we will in just a second. Let's do this. Um, hey, everybody at home. Patrick, can you hear us? Can you hear us? I don't know. He, he just no. nodded. He can? Oh, glorious. What a great day. Oh, I can't hear shit. But we can't hear you. Oh, oh wait. What about now? <laughs> now? Oh. I can hear. Uh, this is the worst day of my life. This is the worst day uh, oh, of all of our lives. I can hear him. Could you hear him when he said that? He says he Say lost something. us. He lost it? Yeah, he said now he's lost us. Oh my god. This is... Uh, I'll bet you... Can we do it now? Huh? Yeah, you got Yay. it? Okay, Jesse, can you hear him when he's talking? I can't hear him at all. That's, that means that they're probably not hearing him either. No. Shit bird. Well, why don't we show a video? Yeah. Let's play a video. Patrick, Let's I love you. Let's show Pomeroy. And uh, we're going to have to do the Skype thing again later whenever we've got <laughs> it figured out. I'm sorry, we're idiots.
How about a big hand for Patrick Kramer, everybody? So sorry. This has pretty much gone off without a hitch. It really has been flawless. And if, if there's one thing I've learned by doing these, it's uh, that... Don't it, do them. It, it works every time. <laughs> it absolutely works every time. There's never been... The amount of equipment in this room not being used yeah. because we have all the wrong cords. Yeah, things that don't plug into the it's other things. fun. I've got a whole camera. I've got a whole camera over there. Useless. Just the worst. I'm sorry, Patrick. Uh, I'm not touching myself. I just got a squirrel in here. Oh, well, well, well. Hey, go just ahead. Digging around for a squirrel in her shirt. What else is new? That's the great thing about this show. Even, you know, when something doesn't work out, somebody's got a squirrel in their shirt. Yeah. Yeah. So there's always going to be uh, the possibility <laughs> for people to be brought to the uh, edge of laughter. Uh, just on the brink. Yes. Well, we do have a, a sketch submitted by Seth Pomeroy. Ooh. We can play this. Let's watch a sketch. Seth Pomeroy here on Sunday Night Stupid. Hooray. Dessert? Would that be one check or two checks? Oh, so 
Don't you? I'm so sorry, everybody. Can we agree that uh, technology is horrible? It's not doing me right. That's for sure. Uh, anyway, go check out Seth's uh, podcast and live shows. The next one, uh, the next live show, I think, is going to be um, uh, the next major holiday. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. Patrick's Day. He doesn't Easter. want at Hale uh, Dark Easter, Status. I bet. Easter. That's I'll bet you that is it. Easter. He, he said he might do one on Easter, it's not confirmed yet. But uh, check out his podcast, Ultimate Funny, and Seth Pomeroy on Twitter. Uh, wow, that's such good stuff. Fantastic. Alright, so funny, funny man. Uh, you know, we were talking about open micers and different open micers. Yes. Uh, are there other types we need to make five or should we go There's ahead and always. Uh, there's always someone to make fun of, and there's always bits to make fun of. The, the worst is when somebody does something that is just driven into the ground. Yes, and the thing is, it's usually driven into the ground, like before the open mic. Like, it's driven into the ground on Twitter, like hours before the open mic starts, but people who haven't checked Twitter continue running it into the ground. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, it would be good if we had some sort of museum uh, where we could retire these hacky bits uh, and uh, put them out to pasture and find a nice home for them. A formal process of retiring a hacky bit. Why don't we do that tonight? Let's retire Let's a hacky bit. Why don't we do that in this truly spontaneous <laughs> spontaneous segment where we retire a hacky bit. Oh, fantastic. Uh, as is tradition, I shall do the hacky bit. Oh, okay. Because that's... <laughs> Why not? That's me. And uh, do we have the topic for tonight's hacky bit? I believe... Subway. Subway, Joe? Subway. Jared. Jared Fogel. Subway. Yeah. Not many people know this. There was a bit of a to-do <laughs> involving Jared recently. What? Oh, and uh, uh, people have talked about it We're using the exact same two or three jokes for months. And those jokes are... Now, can I use the uh, mic yeah. for this? Yeah. Uh, for verisimilitude? <clears throat> hey, guys. You guys are about uh, Jared? About, about, about Subway? <laughs> he's going he's to see a lot of footlongs in jail. Oh, well, hey! 12-inch <laughs> pizzas. There. Thank you! Thank you very much! Uh, My CD costs $35. Please a, buy four. A great bit. Too bad it's got to go. It's time It finally time. has to go. And now, if we could please raise it up to the rafters. Eventually. If so inclined, I believe the rafter lifting may. And I think the most exciting thing about doing that is we'll never hear those jokes again. They, they, they never will be heard again. Because people true. who do those jokes are also very. Self-aware. They, they, they will are. hear that and they will know, oh, don't do that. They love to learn. Yes. Their natural curiosity will say, and integrity will make yeah. them say, hey, I'm going to stop doing that. That bit was retired. There's no... I, I, and you figure also they're like, obviously I write so much. Yeah. yeah. I'll just come up with more and not perform the same joke over uh, uh, in uh, Jackson, Tennessee uh, until I'm 60. For decades. Yes. And beyond. Yes. That was just a random example. <laughs> just a, a possible uh, place. That I threw at random venue. Uh, it's a great place. South Street in Jackson. Tell them Harvey sent you. So. <laughs> Jess will be playing in Jackson soon. Oh, yes, I am. I am. I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, playing my classic uh, Minorities No Thanks one man show. <laughs> they, they love it there. Uh, I just list different ethnicities and say, no, don't like them, not for me. And then, and then my, my closer is just 15 minutes of gaze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then I have a bicycle horn. And then I go, I have a bicycle horn and a, and a comically sized spring. And I go, boing, 
Onky, onky. Boy. Onky, onky. <laughs> that's why I'm Jackson's number one comic for the last 35 years. Well, that sounds Besides fantastic. Besides Jerry Seinfeld. Besides Jerry Seinfeld. And I think Carlin started there, too. What you doing, Jack? Well, I was queuing up this clip. Joe sent us an 11-minute clip, though. Oh, Joe. Uh, yeah, so I mean, we can't play that. That's pretty long. You may not believe this from what you've seen so far, but we respect people's time here on <laughs> yeah. Sunday Night Stupid, and we wouldn't want you to wait impatiently. Yeah, uh, so maybe we'll, we'll, we'll find a segment of that and we'll play it. In we'll the find a segment. Absolutely, Joe. We'll, uh, we'll happily do whatever. Oh, but you know what? We've got a... Uh, you were talking about our first date, and maybe that was trying to lead into... The uh, no, oh. not the squirrel. <laughs> the video. All roads lead back to the squirrel. Uh, we we did a sketch, you and oh, I. Oh, we did do a sketch about a first date. Yes. And if we were clever, we would have just segued into that earlier. Yeah. So really, we just wanted to shit on each other. Yeah. Aww. This is how awful. Oh. Uh, uh, should I go? I mean, yeah. not Always. yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I try to have one foot out the door at all times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but if you want, we can play the sketch we did uh, a while back. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Let's, let's see what the hell this is doing over here. Hey, uh, you know, thanks for meeting me here. Uh, I, I know you wanted to go see music, but fuck music, right? Um, yeah, it, you never know what psychos you're going to meet on these dating websites, so it's great to finally meet you. Yeah, no, yeah. You, you do have to be careful this day. Hold on. I am just tagging where I am and who I am with. <laughs> okay, uh, I see you have not accepted my friend request. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you're not following me on Twitter either. Oh, but you know what, though? You can follow me home after this if things go really well. <laughs> Right. Uh, oh, okay, thanks. Are you still at 311 Prescott Lane? Uh, that was the last address on your credit report. Yeah, so <laughs> do you want an appetizer? Let's get an appetizer. Uh, yeah. It has to be stuffed mushrooms because that's what the coupon says. <laughs> I don't really like mushrooms, but you go right ahead. Oh, no, no, that's stupid. Everybody loves mushrooms. <laughs> Uh, especially when they're half off. Uh, when you hate them, they're 100% off because you don't order them. Thanks. Uh, okay, speaking of hate, uh, you should probably know I was arrested last week. Do you guys like some appetizers or are you ready to order? Totally. Uh, we'll split the stuffed mushrooms. I don't want that. Uh, and we'll both have the New York Strip. Well I done. I like my steak rare. With mushrooms on top. I hate mushrooms! Excuse her! Rude. <laughs> uh, thank you, and hurry it up. <laughs> Sorry, the, the service here sucks. Not every restaurant can be as great as Hooters. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, so you got arrested? Yeah, it, it wasn't even my fault, right? I'm just uh, driving down the road, minding my own business, uh, not doing anything wrong, and I get pulled over. The cop said I was speeding, which is bullshit, because I was just going 10 over the limit, and they can't even pull you over for that. I know. I know the law. <laughs> and then, okay, so then he accuses me of being drunk. So stupid. As if they don't start they do their days off with shots and go. Uh, shots and go? Yeah, you know, you take a few shots and then you go. <laughs> oh. Drinking and driving. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you don't understand. You finish drinking before you drive. <laughs> you, you just take a few shots to make morning traffic more bearable. You drink before work? Oh, yeah, like I could drive a forklift around a warehouse all day sober. That's... <laughs> it's not like everybody could be a high school English teacher like you. I'm not an English teacher. Oh, well, why are you dressed like that? <laughs> hey, can I finish my story, please, teach? All right, so I'm minding my own business, and I'm steering with my knee so I can eat my breakfast burrito and check my Facebook feed. 
like I do, and this stupid cop pulls me over because he's bored and he got picked on in high school, and this is the only way he feels like he can have any power in life. And so I tell him that, and then he tells me to get out of the car, like I've got time to dick around to some dipshit, obviously I'm on my way somewhere, and he told me to say my alphabet backwards, which is dumb because nobody learns it that way. So I sing the song the way God intended, and uh, but I remix it a little bit because I got to throw my shit in, you know. And he he has the balls to tell me I was slurring. So next thing I knew, I was in handcuffs. Such bullshit. Here's your food. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> okay, okay. So you got drunk before work, where you drive heavy machinery around other people. Am I right? Other people work in the warehouse? Sure, yeah. Okay, all right. Just curious. Um, you're distracted on the road, and you didn't have your hands on the wheel. Mm -hmm. You berated the police officer as soon as he walked up to you, mm -hmm. and then failed the field sobriety test. Yes. <laughs> what? Oppressive bullshit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, there's real crime terrorists out there, but let's waste my tax dollars just harassing hard-working Americans. Like, you didn't deserve that. Thank you very much. See, I, I knew all girls with big fat tits weren't stupid. Oh, man. Your food looks so good. Let me just get a little bite. We're eating the same. Oh, this is so no, good. Like Just another little bite. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. It's the same thing. Can I get you any dessert? Uh, I think we're good. <laughs> Some, somebody's trying to slim down. No, you look great. Yes, I do. And I want the people I'm with to look great, too. So let's all work on that. <laughs> Okay, uh, will this be one check or two? Wait a minute, well, let me just see how much her meal costs. We ate the same thing! You're right, we'll go Dutch. Uh, <laughs> now, I had the coupon for the appetizer, so you can take care of the tip. Don't be stingy. Here, here you go. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Listen, I know I told you you could follow me home after this, but I don't want to piss my wife off right now. <laughs> it, it, she's all on my dick about getting arrested with my kid in the back seat. And... You're married with children? Child. One boy. Listen, look, if you're going to be this weird and clingy already, like, maybe this was a mistake. Uh, you, you know what? Well, let's just... Uh, Shit, I forgot to get a to-go order for my kid. Oh, you're going to bring something home for him? That's so sweet. Uh, uh, no, he, he's in the car. Um, <laughs> I just, I told him to duck down in the back seat and stay quiet. Uh, you know what, we'll just pick up some beef jerky at the gas station. All right, take it sleazy. <laughs> Guys, and I've got oh, that's my squirrel, oh, Hermione. Animal kingdom time. Oh, she's down my shirt. Oh, girl. She's down my shirt. Uh, and your squirrel's where? Asleep. He's this lump right here. It's on your butt. He's not on my butt. And he's on my hip. And my squirrel was just oh, in my armpit. Oh, now he's moving up. He didn't like. He doesn't like what oh, I'm God. doing. I've got a squirrel on my shirt, everybody. It's a southern flying squirrel. She's, uh, so she's cute. amazing. She's so fast. I wish I could catch it. Okay, there I got her. I got her. There She's she so cute and fast. Oh. Ah, back down the shirt. There you go. Squirrel time. Jesse had to go to the other room because he has the been squirrels. attacked a couple times. They've been attacked. Be again. <laughs> now my squirrel's right here. Well, we should play a clip. Yeah. Um, this was a lot more boring than I thought it would be. Well, I mean, the, the squirrels are great, but when they're inside my shirt, like you can see a bulge. 
Johnny but that's it. So bad. I, I don't like it when she, she gets her little nails puts her claws nails. on my skin instead of on my shirt. Then, like, if the fur is facing me, it's wonderful. But this is not the best. Right. Their fur feels like velvet. Uh, I wish she would just sit on my shoulder and be adorable <laughs> that way. She's running around. All right, let's play a clip, Jay. Let's uh, let's play a little something from the Coquill Boys. Sounds good. You want to do that? Yes, Forgetful Dad. That's what I want you to play. Okay, let's do it. His name is Brad and he's a dad. But uh oh, he was really sad. And the wish he was dead, he shot himself in the head. But he didn't die, he lost his memory instead. Forgetful Dad! I'm sad and I don't know why. Hmm. <gasps> I want a sweet treat. Ah. Oh, my favorite sweet treat. Cadbury cream egg. Delicious icing. Covered in the most decadent chocolate from faraway Cadbury. Mm. Oh, what? 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 Oh, God. Dan? <laughs> Dan? 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 <laughs> Dan? <laughs> Dan? <laughs> Dan? Nah. Dan? What's wrong? What's wrong? That candy. You're it's ruined. Ru but hey, the, the chocolate's bloomed and the and the creamy center's all hard as a rock. That's because that's a that's a Cadbury egg from like Easter. I know what the hell it is. It's my favorite candy. But it isn't it doesn't change the fact that that's you got that a long time ago. That's old stuff. Oh, Cadbury. No. Oh, oh, Dad, no, no, that's gross. That's gross. Don't eat it. What is all this noise? Oh, the the chocolate I was. Who the hell are you? Uh, I'm your wife, stupid. <laughs> you look like a guy. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, not a lot of men have these, do they? What? Big strong hands? No, no. Giant strong boobs. Thank you very much. If you're my wife, well, how come I don't remember you? Well, what happened is, I don't know why, but for some reason you shot yourself in the head. I guess he probably didn't want to live. And now you can't remember things. I guess it like got into the memory part of your brain, the bullet. But it missed the live parts, so you're alive with us. Well, who's this guy I've been talking to? Oh, uh, that guy is a boy, and he's your son. He's my son? Y yes, he's our, well, he's our son. We had him together. Is he adopted? No, why would you say that? He's adopted. Well, what about I, him? I, I, Makes you think that. I, I, well, just because... How did... Uh-huh. You're a man. Yeah. And also... Uh-huh. Uh, but I love him. <laughs> oh, Henry! Oh, Dad, no! Oh, that's from Easter! What did you gross. do that for? Mom, Dad, he's gone to some candy that's from Easter and he thinks he just got it. He's confused. He doesn't know what's going on. All right, that's it. We're getting all that Easter candy and we're going to throw it in the trash right now. No, but why? Uh, because it's December. D look at the tree. Dad, d just give me the candy. Okay, buddy. What? 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 When did, when did you get all this, Dad? Where? Well, I got it at the store. It was all on sale. No, you probably got this months ago, like right after Easter. This is crazy. I know. Oh, gosh. Dad, it just gets so exhausting. Every day it's like, I'm sorry. do something and then you don't. No, no, what? I'm not. No. It's bad. This is really bad. What do you mean? It's bad. Okay, you can't. No. Dad, you can't. It's hell. so gross and hard. Because it's Easter candy. Okay, Dad, this is just crazy how many eggs you got in here. Oh, my tummy hurts. Yeah, I wonder why. No more eating candy that's out of season. Okay. Oh, we're going to take these right to the dumpster. Don't want my dad to get sick because I love him. Mm, he's awesome. Mm -mm. Ooh, pumpkin spice.
Okay, you guys. Michael Hampton, Co-Kill. Very funny. Those guys are great. You can yes. uh, follow him on the things. And there's so many more videos. Very funny, dude. Yes. Michael Hampton. So Don't great. Don't forget that. Brad Edwards, Sean Parrott. Extremely funny fellows. All great in that. Uh, oh, man. You guys, it's been wonderful. This has been a great show. I think we really did it. Big thanks to Skype for their sponsorship of uh, the show. It really turned out well. And um, But I think uh, this is going to be kind of the format of the show. Hopefully lots of people will submit stuff. Yeah, so we'll, we've got a submission form up on nationalstandup.com. Sketch videos, uh, stand-up clips around correct. three to five minutes. Um, and basically anything funny or weird. We'd love to do interviews with you. Not you, but maybe a but friend of yours. Other people. Someone interesting. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Mary. And also, also uh, um, what, what other contact info? Do they? Oh, Twitter. Twitter. Go, go on Twitter, Twitter to... Is Sunday Night Stupid Up, or is it still online? Uh, well, you can follow National Stand Up, of course, on the Twitter ends and the up. Facebook. Just do ends up. That, that's simple for now. We'll try to figure out something else. 80% of your problems will be solved in your life just subscribing to Inside. All roads lead. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> It'll work just fine. Uh, and then here, uh, let me see. I don't know if this will... That's a weird... I don't know what's going on. That's my old squirrel. Ugh. All right. Okay, there, there we go. We go. Uh, so Spiffy Squirrel every Sunday at the East Room. You guys, what a hey. delightful treat. Great uh, show. There's other shows in town. Um, Flying with Jaybird. Hold on, it's not on the screen yet, Jay. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> well, it's called Flying with Jaybird, and it has a logo that you'll be seeing very, very shortly. I don't know why that doesn't... Every, uh, oh, yeah, right. there we go. Oh, Flying with Jaybird, you guys. What a great show. That. Every third Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. at Mad Donna's in East Nashville. Hosted by this lady. Don't even try to time it because it's not going to... Yeah. I don't know why it's doing that. It it's a weird... Uh, taking forever. Oh, there we there go. There it is. You guys. Mary J. Berger, everybody. Oh. So great. Follow her on all the things. See all the squirrel photos. Absolutely. Squirrels. Uh, squirrels. Other squirrels. And even more. Sports. Sometimes cats. Yes, that's Every pretty good. In a while, yeah. Uh, Got some pretty cool shit on there. <laughs> I, literally, there's actually just little just bits little, of shit all over the place. Wow, look at it's that! Oh, look at me, Dango Jesse Perry. Seventy pounds ago. <laughs> Check me out on Twitter at Jesse is terrific, and um, I probably won't see you at many comedy shows, but I hope you do well. It'll be wonderful. Uh, oh, look at this guy. Hey. Nashville's next mayor. America's next mayor. favorite comedian of all time, Chad Ryden. Uh, yeah, just... Uh, There's like three or four quality boasts on that one graph. <laughs> I try to squeeze them all in. I like that. Get them all out of the way. There's still space on the lower left to put super genius. Oh, I I'm don't, just throwing that out there. Well, that's Danny Lamore's thing, so I don't want to... Gotcha. I don't want to be a dirty hack. Maybe we could have uh, Daniel, Daniel Lamore on the show. So. You know, you know uh, uh, yeah. yeah. stand-up, a very funny man. There's got to be clips somewhere. So funny. Now, uh, did we want to end with the final open mic uh, etiquette? Yes. We, yeah, uh, let's do another we, one. We've discussed various uh, uh, things that uh, you shouldn't do. Uh, and this is a new one. This is a Bright Lights guy. Let's get this one. It'll, I think it'll work better if you leave it off. Leave, leave it, off. it off? Yeah. Okay. We're going to leave it off. All right. Well, I know that's not right. But. Okay. Now, if you could, Chad, please direct the camera over here so I can be Mr. Bright Lights guy. It's very complicated. Br bring me up. Bring okay. me up. All right, you guys, next coming up, uh, first timer at the open mic. Let's give it up for uh, Bright Lights Guy. <laughs> wow, okay, wow, <laughs> wow, okay. All right, whoa, ooh, <laughs> hey, do y'all even see anything up here? What do y'all even do? Oh, <laughs> these lights are so bright. Can y'all see me? Because I can't see you. <laughs> Did y'all disappear? Fly wire, what? 
so bright they turn them on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good yeah. night. There we go. The perfect ending to whatever the H this was. Oh, Brett Lights guy. What a classic. What an open mic classic. <laughs> Beloved friend, open mics guy. Uh, this is a very good show. This is fun. This I think fascinating. we're ready to wrap this up. I think this was a fantastic first effort, and I look forward to figuring out what all these chords do. Well, we'll in time. someday we will, maybe not. I don't know. Hopefully. So that's part of the charm. <laughs> All right, well, Nick. thank you for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll do this again another Sunday. Yay. Sunday Night Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh.